Speaking of Purdue, Purdue Boilermaker graduate and former Homestead Spartan Andrew Eigner has been making a name for himself on the green as of late. Eigner recently won the World Long Drive Championship in the amateur division to secure his fourth title of the year. And based on our conversation this week, it was certainly a moment to remember. Take a listen. We're trailing, what, going into that last round, correct? I was, yeah. What was your mindset just going into that last round? So going into the last round, the, the set before I just absolutely smashed the ball, I went 389. Um, and so I was just going to try to keep that going. Um, and then maybe it was switching tee spots or something, but I had a little bit of trouble getting into a rhythm. My fourth ball, pretty good, but it didn't roll out at all. And so I was four yards behind my opponent and uh, didn't hit the fifth ball at all. So one golf ball left. Um, for me, it was just kind of do what I had practiced. Uh, visualized, executed the shot from the time, so I just kind of got to that zone, and, and I did what I need, what needed to be done. You said it yourself, you got the job done. What was it like just uh, raising that trophy in the air? <laughs> it was pretty awesome. I don't know if you saw the uh, the reaction to the, uh, the number getting called back, but I kind of freaked out, and I don't really remember much about that, but <laughs> it was really exciting. Uh, it's been something I've been working, working at since I was maybe... 16 years old, um, starting at Chestnut Hills in uh, Fort Wayne. I always practice there, and so it's cool to see. Um, you know, a great milestone on that game being checked off. You took home the World Long Drive Amateur Championship. What's the, the next goal for Andrew Agner? I mean, the ultimate goal is to win the Open World Championship, and I, I you know, believe in that being something I can accomplish. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not setting a timeline for this year. You know, being realistic, like, ball speeds are important. So being around 215 now, I need to progress out of about 10 more miles an hour to be in, uh, in control of my destiny to some degree. But um, I'd say the goal for this year is to just continue to progress that speed um, in the off season. But in uh, in competition, I'd like to see a top 16 finish in both Oceanside and the World Championships. And, uh, my understanding is that a top 16 at the World will, uh, will be televised for golf. So uh, I definitely look forward to having that experience on TV whenever it ends up happening. That'll uh, <laughs> be fun. Well, good stuff from him. Eigner's next World Long Drive competition is September 29th in Oceanside, California, and he says his next official move is up to the pro division.